Um, two forms of steel, as you know. Austenite, ferrite. How do you know which one's high temperature, which one's low temperature? Quite easy. Higher temperature has got a larger number than a lower temperature. Austenite has got more letters than ferrite. Austenite is your high temperature form of iron. Ferrite is your low temperature form of iron. That's probably the easiest way to remember which one's austenite and ferrite. Austenite, ferrite as well. They're the Greek letters we use to denote it with. So, why um, austenite is face centered cubic? Let me put it this way. Ferrite is body centered cubic. Face centered cubic austenite, the gaps in between each atom are all the same diameter. They are, you don't need to know this number for the HSC, but they're 104 trillionths of a metre in diameter, is the size of the atom you can fit in there. Carbon, the atomic diameter of carbon is 70 picometres. So you can fit the carbon atom quite happily in the gap in the um, austenite, and it just sits there happily. Aust carbon is really soluble in austenite. When you cool it down, steel is weird because it has the phase transformation. You're working with a phase transformation that is um, harnessed for practical purposes. It's one of the few metals we do. When you cool that down, ferrite, as you know, ferrite is body centered cubic. Ferrite, face centered cubic, is close packed. It's as close as it can possibly be, the atoms to each other. Body centered cubic, the atoms are a little bit apart. You'd think there's more space, but actually the average diameter of the hole, there are two different sized holes. One of them is 72 picometers round, the other one is 38. And believe it or not, the carbon crams itself inside that. Because of that, carbon does not dissolve in ferrite very well because it's physically for um, strain purposes and atomic mismatch purposes, crams itself in really tight um, corners in the lattice. So, up here, our phase diagram. There's 0.8 somewhere out here. Move that out of the way. Up here it's 0.025 of a percent. You can hold 0.025 of a percent by weight of carbon at 723 degrees, 2, 3, that's usually how that works. Down here at room temperature, absolutely nothing. Because the carbon just can't be held in there because it's just the um, hole in the lattice is too tight. So that's what's happening with austenite to ferrite transformation. That's why ferrite can't hold the carbon. Let's talk next video about what happens when you cool it slowly. Then we'll talk again about but what happens when we quench it.